Okay, we're working on the second head here. I got the uh, intake port pretty well done up on this one. So, see, I looks pretty much like the other one. And then on the exhaust port, I just started working on it a little bit. So I knocked out some of the big stuff in here. So I got the bowl nice and uh, rounded all up all through here and clean up the sides over here. Well, your finger goes down over through here. A nice good sweep in there, your edge through here, and radius it up underneath in here. This side here is a little bit more open on this side. Just clean it up also. So this is what we got. This is what we started with is this. So now if we open up the bowl with a head machine, we have to knock off these high spots here and then blend it all in. So this one here hasn't been blended yet, and this one here has been blended. So this one here is about 95% done right now on this one. I haven't gone over here this side yet. There's not a lot to be done over here. It's just a matter of bringing it out a little bit to your gasket line here at most and clean it up the rest of the way. The port's pretty round and open up on these heads here, so it's not much to be done on exhaust. Once you get the bowl opened up and cleaned up around the valve guide boss a little bit, you're pretty much, but pretty much done on that. So this one here is pretty much the same way. So you can see what it looks like initially. And you can see how much you open up with this one. So you can see how much you see almost the whole valve now. This one here, you don't quite see all that much of the valve. You see quite a bit, but not all of it. So, and this is pretty square here, top to bottom on our roof. You know, it's perpendicular to our valve guide. It's a little bit lower through here, which is higher. So I might look at that a little bit, but it's pretty good the way it is. So we'll touch it up a little bit once you get from the other side. So. We won't be showing you quite as much as this one. It's pretty much the same as what I was doing on the intake port. It's the same stuff you do on exhaust. Just going to clean things up, straighten them out. So you knock off all the high spots. Get it so that you can go straight through the guide. You know, pass the valve guide here to a nice even radius. And then come back and kind of smooth things up. So, all right, I'm going to work on this one a little bit more. I'm going to work over this side now. Okay, we're going to film I do here. You can't really see too much, but kind of get an idea what I'm doing. First thing is you bring out the gasket surface with your tree bed here. And smooth things up a little bit. See how we're just kind of lightly blending it in here. Oop, too long direction. We're just trying to make it smooth and even to bring it out the gasket surface. Take what have roughness we got out of here. You can see we're not really cutting all that much, just kind of out here on the outside blending. So a bit of a pocket right there where my finger is. We'll blend that into that. And that'll be pretty much it. Over here I'm gonna put it to my short side, so I gotta be careful more on that. I don't want to go all the way out to my line, but close to the line. See, so there's not really a lot to be cut here, just very light blending. So, not too much to be done. Okay, we're just about done with this exhaust port now. You can see the spots I haven't ground, the spots I have ground. So, once again, we just take off the high spots, the stuff we don't like. So we make a nice even transitional radius all through here, all through the bowl, open up the bowl for better breathing. 
clean up the short side back here, radius it in really nice and clean. Bring it out to our bigger valve size there. And you know you can see the low spots are still low spots. We don't cut those. So, so now I'll just do some final semi-polishing with my finer stone and leave it at that. So I'll just touch this up and finish it. Okay, I only spent a couple minutes there, it didn't take much. It's pretty smooth already, so you know, I just knocked off any kind of little casting flaws. So they're nice and smooth all the way through. Like I said, it's pretty well, pretty deep through here, so we don't do anything with that. So as you can see now, you can get some good clearances up through here now for flow. It's nice and smooth. Got room going on both sides of your valve guide, flowing pretty equally. So these are pretty good heads to start with. So anyway, this one's done. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the, uh, the other head.